So I just went up on the roof side and I checked and the anchor does extend the optimal distance past the roofing material to allow for the flashing plate. No interference with the anchor slot, so I'm gonna check that. No closer than 18 inches to the end of the rafter. I'm 24 inches, I'm gonna check that. And the reason for that is if you're close to the end of the rafter, um, your rafter, you have the option of uh, the anchor pulling out and we don't, we don't need to take that risk. Bolts are in the proper holes. So the bolts are gonna go in one, two, three, four holes. And what we did on our design is if you just follow the diagram, one, two, three, four, and one below, you can see exactly where the bolt holes go. So I'm gonna do that. Bolts in the proper holes, that will be done. No, no holes, notches in the bottom inch, uh, in the bottom inch and a half of the roof rafter near the anchor area. This rafter looks strong. I'm gonna check that. And I'm gonna put uh, the bolts in and then we'll check back with the rest of the checklist in a minute. plate is handed so I need to make sure that this plate matches the anchor. I don't tighten any of my bolts up until I've got them all in.
hit a roof sheathing now. One of the nice things about this design is all two by rafters are not the same. All roofing rafters are not the same. So simply by changing the length of your grade eight bolt, if you had a double right here, you could go through that. If you had a custom beam, you could go through that. You just need the anchor, the grade eight bolts going through at the right holes. So, so I keep an assortment of lengths of these. This is, this is three and a half inches right now and it's pretty ideal for most of what we run into, but you never know.